Hey there! Not back with more Mega Man 3 Special Weapons Run! Um, take two because I momentarily forgot that I was doing a Special Weapons Run. You can guess what that meant. Magnet Man! Ugh! That magnet looks so silly. Mega Man Stage has the brief appearance of one of these very interesting enemies. Magnet Copters! <coughs> That's probably not what they're called, but that's what I like to call them. Yep, they'll raise you up, and if you press the but jump button, whoa, they'll raise you up even more, even if you're already in the air. So be careful when jumping around, though. You can spawn them to scroll this direction, the direction you want to go, but what's the fun in that? It will take you over all of these pits, but these pits aren't that difficult to cross. Oh, see, there's one already. But I don't need you anymore. Did you know you could do that? Hello? Oh, there he is. You'll notice that I don't really do a whole lot of fighting against Proto Man. I just kind of stand there, let him hit me, and then blast away at him. <laughs> That's my typical approach. Uh, Proto Man's not that difficult, though. It's really not... I really don't feel like it's worth tr going to all the effort, because often if I try to dodge him, I'm just going to get hit more. Now, Search Snake. I haven't shown off Spark Shock yet. Um, I'll do that later. Oh, well, maybe I'll do it now. Spark Shock. It sucks! <laughs> least useful weapon in the game, probably least useful weapon in the series. There is almost no reason to ever use it. It is terrible, and I make no apologies for my derision of it. Here we have Disappearing Blocks. The Disappearing Blocks in this game markedly easier than every other game. First off, there aren't as they aren't in as many dangerous situations. The first two sets are completely danger-free. And even the dangerous ones are pretty easy patterns. This one can be bypassed completely. Look at that! That was nothing! I could have done that in my sleep. <laughs> I that is one of the issues, is that sometimes Mega Man 3 did things a little bit too easy. That could have been a wonderful challenge. Um, but it wasn't. And, well, I mean, it's... I'd rather... I guess I'd rather that than Mega Man 2's ridiculous pattern not perfectly patterned blocks, but still. If they had patterned, if that had been a good pattern, it would have been fun to cross. Since we haven't seen Shadow Blade yet this stage. Spark Shock will have a couple of uses. One of them is against Magnet Man. He is very weak to it. <laughs> this my preferred strategy for Magnet Man. Similar to my preferred strategy for... Similar to my preferred strategy for Proto Man, only this time I should be... I should not have to get hit at all. My Spark Shock wasn't appearing a couple times for some reason. That was weird. But, no matter. Magnet Man was... of little consequence. For Magnet Man, we get the Magnet Missile. It has some qualities that make it pretty attractive. It 
hones in on enemies uh, to some degree. And in terms of power, it's decent. Um, but like the Gemini laser, it's got really few shots, which means it's kind of a more limited use than you'd hope. But you'll still see it a fair bit. Hard man! Um, doesn't live up to his name. Again, I'm not quite sure what this stage has to do with hardness. I mean, it's rocky and all, but it's <laughs> not as hard as it could be. These bees are very vulnerable to be being scrolled off screen, but they're also vulnerable to being destroyed by needles. Plus, it's nice to get those extra life pickups every now and then. Of course, I will take some damage, but not enough for it to be of much consequence. Don't waste time on those. They will hurt you. You could go and get that life if you needed it, but I don't. This is not one of my favorite parts of the stage. It's really hard to time it so that you get past that hammer and get through safely. I... Fortunately, I managed it this time, but usually I'm going to take a hit there. These monkeys are a pain. A pain in the gluteus. They like to hop around and just generally be a nuisance. They do some not insignificant damage. So I'm just going to spin around and they'll go away like that. Apparently they don't like my dancing. Hammer Joe? Check. Easily exploitable ladder? Check. Dead Hammer Joe? Check. It seems like birds and monkeys are always the most irritating enemies in video games. Don't ask me why. Oh, bats too. But, um... The bats in Mega Man are less bad. Gemini Laser does have its uses. Especially when they can one-shot enemies. Um... You want to be able to use it to one-shot enemies, because you don't have that many shots of it in the first place. Mets, you don't need to use uh, Gemini Laser to one-shot them. Oh, they're one-shot by weaker weapons. Here's where you don't kind of want to leave the bees around for a long. And here's an area that I don't like. Yes, we have our final uh, stage battle with Proto Man, but this one is much trickier. The uneven ground means I can't just sit in one spot and absorb damage until the cows come home. I have to actually be working on him. This is working <laughs> That's working better than most of the things I've done. All our Proto Man himself isn't terribly tricky, but you just gotta watch out and make sure you don't get hit too many times. If you have enough life when you get to that point, it's not a, really much of a consequence. First uh, use of the magnet missile, um, I would have used it more, but I didn't really have much purpose to it then. Oof. Whatever you do, don't get jumped on by Hard Man. The further over you are to the side, the better, because his fists will fly off screen instead of coming back in towards you. Whoa, that was close. Unfortunately, that was closer. <coughs> and Hardman is down. For defeating Hardman, we get the Hard Knuckle. Um, may I come up with a corny joke here, but I already had seven to them. Hard Knuckle's just been beaten to the punch. Another weapon that has fewer shots, but high power. Um, you can control its... It's, uh, it fires forward at a uh, accelerating speed, but you can control its vertical direction a little bit. That'll come handy for some enemies. So you might notice 
Four stages are now off limits to us, but we're supposed to go back to four of them. And there's some strange figure there. Who could that be? Well, that's Doc Robot. What do they do? You'll find out. That's for next time, though. Until then, see, this is Doc. I'll see you later.